Hello everyone. In this video, let me explain you the case problem portfolio optimization with the transaction cost. See, in this uh, case study, the main purpose of the case study is to understand how uh, the expected uh, profit can be achieved from the mutual fund. Okay, initially, uh, a basic case is given like um, a model was run, a financial model was run and certain outputs related to the investment made by the user on uh, a mutual fund is evaluated. If you cross check, uh, the case study consists of a screenshot of like this, okay, values of like this, this is the value, okay. This is the model when model is run for the objective value these are the results that that we achieved okay so by using these values we are supposed to understand uh, how the costs changed and uh, what is the expected profit and what percentage of expected profit can be achieved because of the fund if you want to uh, achieve a certain set of uh, a certain target of profit what model how what kind of changes we have to make to the model and finally, we create a new model with the target uh, uh, expected benefits and uh, model results were presented. So this is a step-by-step -step approach. So initially, um, the first question speaks about according to the following model solution. So model solution is given here. How much is the transaction cost did Miss Delgado pay for purchasing additional shares of interme intermediate term bond fund okay this is the question so we are supposed to perform see, in, in, as usual like the way we did it for the uh, last few uh, case problems we follow uh, a basic by giving we, we follow creating a document by uh, starting with introduction to the case study let me show you that here like this see this is the template that is given to you in this template you are supposed to write First, initially write about non-linear uh, models and uh, how it can be useful in uh, analyzing the different situations that we experience. Next, give a nice introduction to the case. Maybe in 100 words, you can finish your introductory section. Next, start with according to the model, like what is the transaction cost that we have calculated. So speak about a transaction costs that will be associated with the mutual funds. To try to give some basic three or four lines of introduction to what kind of uh, transactional cost that will be involved in intermediate uh, calculating transaction cost usually like what different types of transactional costs you will be having however like how to cal to understand how it is calculated so a simple uh, excel sheet is given to you in that you can find this so from the model whatever the model that is created given in the case problem so this is the model that is given in the case problem okay we already have the model uh, from we have to take values from the model so the IB by inter intermediate uh, that a bond price is 41,268 that is taken and uh, the transaction cost associated with it will be 0 0.010 so that is also taken when we multiply these two things we get the transaction fee so when we want to purchase uh, some products when we want to purchase some additional shares the cost that will be uh, experienced by the because of that purchase the cost that is experienced by the company is 412 dollars okay simply give introduction to the uh, transaction cost what is the transaction cost why when we are purchasing some bonds what kind of transaction cost which which will be included then speak about uh, the transaction fee that is included see if you want to show your uh, calculation part you can show otherwise simply you can say the transaction fee that is associated with the purchase that is made by the organization or the person is 412.68 all right so by this the first question is done hardly 50 words based on the model solution what is the transaction cost associated with rebalancing ms delgado's portfolio so let us cross check the second question from the module model solution itself we can see transaction cost which is 1090311 okay so you can straight away you can sim say like uh, what transaction cost it occurred okay it, it occurred for the organization okay so sorry it for the miss uh, delgado so what to interpret here see, you can speak about overall uh, transaction cost should be kept low or 
see when the costs associated with the transaction are low the individual will be getting benefited so that kind of interpretation that kind of uh, maybe some kind of recommendation can be made to the organization okay however mostly these transaction costs are external things and uh, the fund the fund that is created uh, by the people cannot uh, cannot uh, uh, change this uh, transaction cost the transaction costs usually they are set by the agencies that are uh, helping that are supporting people to purchase mutual funds okay so anyhow we can speak something related to the total transaction cost after paying transaction costs how much did uh, delgado have invested in mutual funds see when we are when we for example you have 10000 rupees and if you are investing in a fund so when you invest 10000 rupees your actual investment amount will not be 10000 rupees after deducting transaction costs whatever will be left over that is considered as your investment amount okay transaction costs should be removed from the actual value so here let us cross check that how it was solved so you can see this see this is the initial investment 1 lakh and we can see that uh, the transaction cost is 1090.311 from this one so then what what happens the investment value will become 9890.69 so we say that when if uh, miss delgado so miss delgado miss delgado or okay miss delgado if she invested uh, 1 lakh rupee what happens the actual investment amount will be around 98909.96.69 uh, dollars okay that is what we are supposed to explain because what we do while calculating the actual investment we deduct transaction cost from the invested amount all right so that can be interpreted So the fourth question you try to rewrite this one so actually uh, there is a solution that is provided above means the statements that are provided above there are um, below no so by, like for example you can see here uh, this is also removed right so in the seven sixth question you can see some kind of statements like this okay these statements uh, are uh, always helpful in calculating iv so after uh, implementing after substituting values in the equation we get this value so rather than getting confused like work, uh, trying to understand that one simply you just rewrite this sentence in your own style so that no plagiarism is occurred okay so next one is fifth question so for example uh, here the target is that uh, delgado wants to get 10 percent if she invests uh, one lakh rupee is that possible for her to get 10% uh, or not? She can expect 10% of return or not. That should be explained in this question. So, however, uh, already we solved in the uh, fifth, third question. In the third question, that uh, when uh, Delgado invested 10,000 or like one lakh, one lakh, the uh, transaction cost after removing the transaction cost, 98,909 is what received. If at the end of the process, as it was mentioned in the question, if they make $10,000, total amount will become 108909. So when we uh, in actually uh, like uh, cross check it, like for example, the invested amount is 100,000 and what we received is 108,909. 108, Maybe like let us assume that 109,000. So 9,000 cannot be 10% of return. It is 9% of the return. Okay. So here what we say that is if she gets $10,000 as return, it is not possible to conclude that she get 10% of return on investment. To get 10% return on investment, at least, at least the amount that should be uh, total, that should be totaled at the end of the year is 110,000. 110,000 only when the value crosses 110,000 then the then Mrs. Douglas can have 10% return on the investment she made okay so I hope you understood this is a very simple answer next one is in the sixth question for generating 110,000 
So you have 110,000 uh, target, right? For that target, we are supposed to generate uh, the model. So here um, you got uh, six different uh, screens. So in this, uh, um, maybe I, I will I will ask Aditya to tell which for which one you are supposed to use. Okay. So let let us make this one uh, as the first one. This is second one. And this is third one. Next we have fourth one and fifth one and sixth one. Okay. You just uh, give a statement that the model or maybe like what it is was asked for. Explain the current model does not uh, do this. Um, let me check. Prepare a report that includes modified optimized model okay so you can take this one as heading or you can rewrite it then uh, create the model this is the model that we have created okay to make sure that some difference is existing we are supposed to generate uh, six copies for this term so if it is in the next term i might be explaining you in a different way as of now we have we are supposed to create six models so among these, you are supposed to take one, one, one and copy paste like, like this. You just copy paste, copy this one, and uh, NCP solution, paste this one. Okay, this should be pasted Maybe like this. Simple. This is the model. Okay, the model. Okay. So this is how you are supposed to uh, include your screen in in the document. So select any one among them based on our recommendations. So if, for example, if the person one using first screenshot, person two should use second screenshot in that way. All right. So make sure that you follow that. If you follow us, okay. In the same way, we have a final solution C. After implementing by using by using the formulated part formulation of uh, statements and uh, constraints part by using this you are supposed to create uh, you are supposed to implement it and generate solutions okay when we solve whatever the statements that are uh, having with us so what we get is we get these values okay so just uh, see for here i want you people to make sure that you change some colors okay you take form format table and uh, apply some colors all right like this Maybe you can remove this one later. But okay, like this you can use. Okay, you can oh, ignore that. Then when you are copying and pasting this one, I don't want uh, never copy the table from Excel sheet. You try to take screenshot of this one. Okay. You try to take screenshot of this one and copy it onto paste. Copy it onto paint and take a screenshot of that one. You take, uh, copy the image up to the required level and uh, just submit that. Okay. So I am supposed to, maybe like I can reset that using top. So it looks unique. And uh, uh, among these things, the R min is the only value. It's an extra value. You can cut it and you can paste it somewhere. Okay, R min is the only value that should be changed its location. Maybe like this, you can take maybe somewhere mm -hmm. here, you can copy and paste it and then take the screenshot. Okay, sometimes you can ignore this value and uh, you can take a screenshot also. All right. So this is how uh, we generate. So for example, if you check it, initially in the first question, we calculated what is the transaction cost if we purchase additional uh, funds in between. Okay. In the next question, using the model, we try to identify the total cost that incur in um, overall year period. Okay. So next one is um, when the replacement, when the re rebalanced, when the fund is rebalanced, what will be the actual uh, investment value that should be calculated so it is identified that when one lakh of uh, dollars are invested we get around ninety eight thousand. okay 
so that is all about uh, calc understanding how the variable the sorry how the transaction cost impact the value of investment next um, when ib is uh, 51 268.51 at the year end what will be the value of ib so that is calculated and clearly mentioned using the statements next in the fifth question we try to interpret a situation where if the organization if the if uh, investor gets $10000 as return is that going to be a 10% return so what we calculated so when when we try to invest $10000 the investment cost value will be reduced because it involves transaction cost okay so if we add 10000 to that it will be definitely less than 10% of returns so to get 10% of return at least the value should be 10000 I mean 11000 one lakh ten thousand it should be okay so that is what about fifth question after the fifth question in the sixth question what you will be doing you will be creating a modified optimization model so for the model then a new no model is created for this one okay that you will be copying and pasting from the so as we see that like see for this question you will be introducing like in the previous section it was observed that in the fifth question it was observed that what is observed to get 10% return the value should be 110,000 so to ensure that that uh, parameter is met the model will be optimized to a new level and the optimized model is shown as follows in that way you are supposed to write okay so you try to improve it in on your own okay based on the question 5 question 6 is framed now you will be taking screenshot from uh, question 6 here and uh, you take any one number uh, based on the suggestion that is given to you say based on allocation it will be mentioned to you and you will be copying and pasting it as a new model after that uh, what we do is like after uh, identifying after creating the model what we do we try to implement it to understand how it will be having impact on different values of the model solution okay so we try to apply it and we found certain values and we can simply say like when r min is calculated these are the values that we get all right so make sure that you follow uh, my instructions in the video and uh, edit excel sheet properly before you copy and paste it into onto the word document okay this is all about your chapter 14 case problem so help yourself team and try to fix that thank you